Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we love finding out about games and bringing our insights to you. And of course, sometimes we do things like this, which are unboxing videos, so you get a look at what's inside the box. Um, and I always think it's kind of fun to do this together because I also don't know what's inside the box. Um, so let's have a bit of an adventure and see what Vast, the mysterious manner from later games is all about. So, first things first. It's a very pretty looking box. Um, I like the purple colours. Um, the artwork is from Kyle Ferrin, so you may know him from artworks such, uh, from games such as Root. Um, with a game by Patrick later. Um, this game is for one to five players, which is a good number. Ages 10 plus, and it's supposed to take between 60 and 120 minutes. It's quite a big game. It's also quite a big box. It's heavy. Um, and it's kind of a this really nice, um, slippy, sheeny finish. So you can kind of see my hands go over it. And we've got some cool pictures. Um, what's it about? I don't know. I assume we're going to be in a mysterious manner. Um, we'll have a quick look at the back of it. Um, also, you can see what size it is. Um, that's what it looks like on the side of the box. It's a, it's a short box, but it's long. So not, not ticket to ride size. So let's see what's on the back. Well, the first thing I've learned is it looks like we're going to have miniatures, um, which look kind of cool. Very cool. Um, let's see what the features are. So it's an asymmetric design. So that means it'll be kind of like Root or those, where um, everybody will have different kind of player powers or you all of your factions will play differently. Um, apparently, a detailed rulebook is a feature. Um, I would assume that would have been necessary. It's got a solo mode, which is good. Got some hand-drawn illustrations, miniatures, and a gorgeous, pretty gorgeous mounted board. So it seems it says here there are a few heroes, just those seeking revenge, escape, or absolution. So it looks like we're just going to be running around the dungeon mostly, doesn't it? Um, and there's the different people you can play as. Okay, so that seems to be enough about it side of the box. Let's see what's inside it. Okay, it's a very deep box. <laughs> Like, yeah, it goes all the way down. So let's try to try. So first things first, rule book. It's an A4 size rule book. Paper is good. It's very thick. So this should be like durable, yeah, long lasting paper. So interesting that there's a glossary right at the start and a thing about rules disagreements um, and how to read the rules. <laughs> That's nice. So it says, so question one, I'd like to do something and the relevant rules don't say that I can't do it. Can I do it? And the answer is within the confines of those rules, yes. So um, I like that. So this is kind of saying that, you know what, our rules aren't hard and fast, that you want to play this and have fun. And here's some kind of just general rules to keep in mind. Here are the components. Looks like we're going to get player boards and dials, cubes and tokens, and then setups for our boards. A um, few more concepts, how to play the map. Um, example turns, that's always good. That's the paladin. The skeleton, so obviously you can play as the skeleton. So there's a whole like section for each thing. Like strength and defense, nice. We have a, the spider, looks really nice. Um, I like the way this is laid out, the font is like massive. So it's really easy to read. The manor itself, okay. What else we got? The warlock, who's got the very cool pointy hat and an example turn. So because all of these factions work differently, um, teaching the game probably won't be the most straightforward. You'll have to learn about all of the factions. But I think that's a feature of later games in general and you'll either love or hate that already. Difficulty variants, I like this. Player counts and role mixes. Okay, so it's suggested the kind of players you should play depending on how many players you have. Here's the solo mode at the end. Enemy dance, it's not too big. And then traveling between vast games. So th these rules allow you to use rules from vast and mysterious manner and vast and crystal caverns together. Fairly good. So you're allowed to combine things. And the back page has a key action reference. That's good. I like that. An easy to forget defense value. It's going to be defense value. It's sounding like a little bit more and more like um, a war game of sorts or a skirmish game. Maybe it's that. Okay, so into the, the depths. Okay, what's on top? So it looks like a... A game board. Let's see what the board looks like. Well, there's a small square. Turn it around so the logo is the right way around. So this must be the board. Uh, it looks like we're going to be adding things to it to make it different each time. It's got like numbers around the edge, spawn points. 
little places I guess you can go um, and some battle places um, it's very solid it's very slippy on top um, everything about this game so far seems to be very like sheeny um, which isn't terrible which is nice um, it's quite dark so I assume you're gonna put maybe more things on top of it um, to brighten it up a little bit although the, this game is quite dark in general like the dark purples and stuff like that this is not kind of bright and cheery oh so this is everybody's cards for what you do so there's I like the fact you can play as the manor. Sorry, I think that's that's kind of cool. You have the manor, the spider, the paladin, the warlock, and the skeleton. So you all get your own descriptions of how to set them up and what you want to do. Um, I always appreciate things like that. What's next? Oh, some very thick cardboard. So we have, ooh, dials. Dials. So these must go together. So this is to do with grit. So found at seven grit, reveal a tile. We got numbers, so maybe this goes under it. And we spin it. Looks good. Um, I'll pop out a piece of it see how thick it is. Woo. Well, it can make it handy. Oh, yeah, that's super thick cardboard. Um, it's got a good feel too as well. It's more, it's it's very shiny. Everything in this is kind of waxy or slippy on front. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa. Please tell me. Oh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is the cardboard inside your box. <laughs> Um, right, we'll run, we'll run through this. I thought maybe there'd be one or two things to pop out because the box is really heavy. So this is the manor. So obviously you get your own board, it pops out. And we have some token coins. Let's have a look, is it two-sided? It is. And it's got like a little quote on the back. I think you guys should be able to see that. Um, and here obviously you fill in things. The cardboard is lovely and thick. These are gonna be very chunky tokens to you treasure chests and things so i assume there's gonna be one for each character so here's the paladin all yellow with more tokens and quotes and things to fill in very cool oh the warlock's got the good color normally i wouldn't like brown and green together but this looks good um so yeah so you can see how everybody will function quite differently i'm um, just quite exciting actually oh wow the back of it the prison has always been in your mind. I'm re I'm really showing you the bars. I, I like it. Love the stars. Woo. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, the skeletons go sideways. So that's exactly had skeletons. How to win? Kill the paladin. Okay. That could be rough. So we may actually have to kill each other. Now we have the spider links. You got all cancel tokens, so you can move and cast spells. Um, I love how everything is very clearly laid out on each character sheet. Like this is huge text. This is something that even I could read and understand while I was tired. Um, I think that's very kind of important. Um, Root did a very similar thing, but it was often sometimes hard to follow, you know, what your own faction was doing or what someone else's. This seems a little, a, a little better laid out, maybe just, you know, from reading terms, because it's all on one big chunky piece of card. Okay, so that's like the sorcerer. Also, now what these are, these look like you're probably going to put them on the board. What's a sorcerer get to do? You can feed and spend blood, or you can scare. Ooh, and to win, get your terror to 12, then escape the manor. It's very exciting, actually. I'm getting more excited the more I go through this box. Um, I thought it was going to be more rooty, but this is kind of cool. So, the giant spider, to win, get your terror to 12, then escape the manor. So, you guys get your terror to 12. So, the sorcerer and the giant spider have the same board. Oh, this looks like a myth, Brent. I'll have to look that up, but... um. Yeah, my giant spider and my sorcerer have the same board. Except this has the sort of look legs. Because I thought it was a little bit weird where it said something about um, eggs and hatchlings and stuff. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to find out. Because the back of hers says something different than this. So there may, there may have been a, an error. Um, I'll see what the story is about that. I'll get in touch with later games. I'll leave these out here actually together. Isn't that, okay, let's hope that wasn't an error. I have no idea what edition I have. Um, the one I the one I was sent. So here we go. It looks like standees. What would you guys think? They're rounded, so they do look like standees. Um, all in these nice colours. Really like the, the warlock one and the skeleton ones. Look really good. These are definitely things for the map. So look there's like a man falling down a hole. Um, all of the cardboard here is still thick, really nice and waxy. This one's doing some sort of crazy summoning. Cool, and this just keeps on going, lads. So here are the webs. 
and whatnot. Okay, and like spills and things. I quite like the art in this. It's very like, oh, it's not quite childish, maybe is the word, but definitely like playful. If that makes sense, playful. So here's more things for the boards. Yeah, the, all the different rooms. We're gonna have to build our map. Well, with a, we've got plenty of tiles to do it with. Here's some more. Very cool. Oh, and wheels. More wheels. Okay, so these ones obviously go back to back. Stability wheel and a terror defense wheel. Okay. And we've made it to the bottom of the cardboard. Okay, so we made it to like the bottom of the box. Hey, under all of the cardboard. And what do we find? Well, first off, there's miniatures, which is kind of cool. So I assume there's one for each character, right? So since I like the warlock so much. Oh, wow. Come on. Oh, I don't want to break. Oh, this is really not willing to travel. Because I don't want to break it. <laughs> oh. So we start with like the little warlock and thing. Super cute. These are quite well detailed. Not sure how much I like the idea of these neon -y colours for all the you know, this will take out a big thing. A big spider. That just feels creepy actually even putting it in my hand. I'm not a big fan of spiders. There there's a lot of weight to that. There's a lot of and it's they're nicely made. So now that one goes in there. We'll pick out one more. What else will we see? We should get one of each colour, right? So we'll get the purple guy. Because he looks super creepy. And very cool. Quite like that. And then we get one green dude. Which archer or which skeletor shall we pick? We're going to go with the skeletor which has a flag. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Because I can't get him out. Oh, there we go. Oh, this guy's a badass. He deserves to be on screen. Yeah, so they're, they're very nice miniatures. They feel nice in your hands as well. They're very finished. They're not rough and they're definitely not thin. They're very chunky. So I like that a lot. And then over here we have a bag of tiny cubes in various colours. I think we all know what cubes are like at this stage. Yeah, I was right. There must be standees because these are the little plastic pieces for your standees to go into. And I've got the little things to go inside my discs to make my wheels. We have one D6. There's a nice enough D6, nice plastic D6. And then finally, it looks like we have cards in here. Ooh, and then tiny cards. Okay. Now, does it have a tab on it? It does. Where is it? I can see it, but I can't see the end of it. Oh, here it is. There we go. I'm glad I did not have to use my scissors. All right. Ooh. These are nice cards. That's a great feeling when you take the plastic off the cards and you go, yeah. Okay, so these are linen, linen, linen finished. So we'll have a look at the back of them. So these ones are books. These ones look like kind of purpley, weapony things. Then these look like things to do with the board. Yeah, and then spider cards. Hand cards. Maybe they're to do with each, like that looks like paladin to me. That looks like spider thing. That could be the manor. That could be whatever the other person is. <laughs> And then that's the warlock, so it must be the, the sorcerer. Doesn't look like a sorcerer card, but let's see what kind of things they are. Spend next period to gain extra strength for one crusade. Okay. So these are kind of thing cards to help you. Each time you may you place a lamp, you may rotate its tile. Okay. They're beautiful cards. They're definitely um, repeated. The skeleton cannot tunnel to a pit tile with a lamp on it. Skeletons can tunnel. Okay. Um, I already want to read the rule book more to understand all of this. Attack an enemy piece to gain one blood. Okay, so these are just, you know, little helpful things you're going to do. Complete to gain one seal and plus one portent. Complete to gain one. Okay, so maybe these are goals to write the game where you're going. Okay, cool. Then you got armor. You got items. Holy symbol. Strong spirit. So yeah, so the, I, I really like the art. The art's very fun. It's quite, quite kooky. Um, but very, very fun. And then the last bit here is this little bag of tiny items. Also little finished cards. And these seem to be smaller versions of the other one. No, so it's some grey, some green, and there we go. Okay, so what is this? So shield, slashy shield, slashy gains one defence, slashy great axe, slashy helmet. Okay, Ca there's slashy casty. Stabby, <laughs> shooty, I like that. Screamy, 
<laughs> that's nice. Okay, so the ears are all like little bits of equipment and special things you can have for your character and the tiny cards. Okay, cool. So I'll put the tiny cards back in. I will follow it by the big cards. And then I'll put back in all of this cardboard. I just did not have the energy to pop this out today. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me sit here and pop things out for like 30 minutes or more. But um, this is actually way more exciting than I give it credit for. I assumed it was going to be very kind of Root-like. And while I can appreciate Root is a really fun game, it didn't go it didn't go down too well in our house. Um, but I would love to see more um, of this kind of done in a different way. This sounds like it might actually be super fun. Let's see, put it back in. I'm keeping out the two character cards on purpose so I can ask it later games should they be different. So, you just watched me unbox Vast and Mysterious Manor. Um, I hope you guys have had as much fun as I did. That was actually a really pleasant surprise and a pleasant unboxing. Although why I'm surprised, I'm not really sure. Later games do seem to do kind of really fun things and this is absolutely no exception. So have you played it before? Have you got any interest in the game? Why not let me know in the comments below? And if you enjoyed my video, you can always like or subscribe to the channel to find out when I put out more videos because they do seem to be happening in a continuous stream. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll be here playing games, asking questions and ripping the shrink wrap off another Essen release. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.